The Book Om Duat. Chapter 9. Duat, Besteronghet Keperu. This great god takes up his place in this circle, and he addresses words from his boat to those who are in it. The divine sailors join the boat of this great god in this city. The name of the gate of the city through which this god entered and takes up his place on the stream which is in the city is Samgeb. The name of this city is Besteruanket Keperu. The name of the hour of the night which guides this great god is Duat Makateten Nebes. The hidden circle of Amenta, through which this great god traveled and takes up his place in the Duat. If these things be made with their names after the manner of this figure which is depicted at the east of the hidden house of the Duat, and if a man knows their names while he is upon earth, and knows their places in Amenti, he shall attain to his own place in the Duat, and he shall stand up in all places which belong to the gods whose voices are Mayat, even as the divine sovereign chiefs of Ra, and the mighty ones of the palace, and this knowledge shall be of benefit to him upon earth. 1. The boat of the sun, with the god Afu standing under a canopy formed by the serpent Mehen. 2. The twelve sailors of Ra, each of whom stands upright, and holds a paddle in his hands, their names are, 1. Kenu. 2. A Kemesi Kf, 3. A Kemertef, 4. A Kemhemiaf, 5. A Kemhepef, 6. A Kemnimzef, 7. Kenan Natef, 8. Hepti Taf. 9. Hitepu. 10. Neder Nederu. 11. Chaduat. 12. Tepi. This great god joins those who will transport him through the city, and his sailors join his boat in which he is in his hidden form of Mehen. This great god addresses words to the gods who dwell in the city, that is to say, to the gods who are the sailors of the boat of Ra and to those who will transport him through the horizon so that he may take up his position in the eastern hall of heaven. Their work in the Duat is to transport Ra through the city every day, and they take their stand by the stream in the city on which sails the boat, and it is they who give water with their paddles to the spirits who are in this city, and they sing spells to the lord of the disc and they make to arise his soul in his forms by means of their hidden words every day. 3. A bearded, man-headed hawk, wearing plumes and horns on his head, seated on a basket or bowl, his name is Muti Kenti Duwat. 4. The ram god Nesti Kenti Duwat, couching on a basket or bowl. 5. The cow goddess Nato Kenti Duwat. 6. A bearded god, in mummied form, called Hedapit Nedaru. The text which refers to these reeds, those who are in this picture in the city are they who give offerings of food to the gods who are in the Duat, Ra decrees for them loaves of bread and vessels of beer, and the gods journey on in the following of this great god to the eastern horizon of the sky, with Hetep Nedera Duat also following him. In the upper register are, one, twelve gods, each of whom is seated upon the symbol of linen fabrics, their names are, one, Nehata, two, Tiba. 3. Mayati. 4. Menkit. 5. Hebs. 6. Neti. 7. Astineter. 8. Astipot. 9. Hitmetku. 10. Nebpat. 11. Temtu. 12. Mene. The text which refers to these reeds, those who are in this picture in the Duwat are seated firmly on their instruments for weaving, and they are in the form of the figures which Haru made. Ra says to them, O oh, you who are swathed in your holy fabrics, who are arrayed in your garments, whom Haru covered up when he hid his father in the Duwat, which concealed the gods, uncover you your heads, O oh, you gods, unveil you your faces, and perform you the things which must be done for Asar. Ascribe you praise to the Lord of Amenta and make you your word Mayat against his enemies every day. These beings are the Chacha of this god and they avenge by their words Asar each day, and the work which they do in the Duat is to overthrow the enemies of Asar. 2. Twelve goddesses, whose names are, 1. Parit. 2. Shamatku. 3. Netshat. 4. Netshefsheft. 5. Atatet. 6. Netseda. 7. Hentnut S8. Netmat. 9. Tezertant 10. Atku. 11. Sekitmetu. 12. Neter ten kentetra. Those who are in this picture with their bodies of the Duwat are they who are in the forms which Haru made. This great god cries out to them after he have arrived at the place where they are, and they come to life and they hear his voice. 
Their work in the Duat is to raise the praises of Asar, and to embrace the hidden soul by means of their words and to bring life and strength to the risings of the god of the Duat in whatsoever regions they are, and they utter words on his behalf in the chamber each day. In the lower register are, one, twelve urii, which are mounted each on its instrument for weaving, and each pours forth fire from its mouth, their names are, one, unknown. Two, tk. Three, unknown. Four, cut derwat. Five, turtneshin. Six, awp shet. Seven, onket. Eight, shentenam. Nine, uncon ten. Otaru. 11. Netuayuayu. 12. Nebatrika. The names of the Uriai who kindle fires for the god who is the governor of the Duwat by means of the fire which is in their mouths. They swallow their flames after this god have passed by them. The text which refers to them reads, Those who are in this picture are in the Duwat and they have bodies of fire, and it is they who lighten the darkness in the Duwat for Asar by means of the flames of fire which come forth from their mouths, and it is they who bring about the destruction of those who are overthrown in the Duwat. It is they who drive back the serpents of every kind which are on the ground, and which are unknown in their forms, to the god of the Duwat. They make themselves to live by means of the blood of those whom they hack to pieces each day when those advances who endow with magical power the dead by the mystery of their formula. Those who know this shall see their magical formula and shall not pass through their flames. 2. Nine bearded gods, who stand upright, each holds the symbol of life in his right hand, and a staff, the upper portion of which is in the form of a wriggling snake, in the left hand. These gods are under the direction of a god in mummied form, whose name, or description, is Haru Hershiduwadi, i.e., Haru who is over the lakes in the Duwat. The names of the nine gods are, 1. Sekti. 2. Amsekatef, 3. Nehebedi. 4. Kamudi. 5. Nebadi. 6. Hekneteru F, 7. Panari. 8. Tisarari. 9. Ahaseket.